is the Butte Pit here. We're headed back to the freeway from Montana Tech. And that gives you an idea what it looks like. You all see a head frame over there. Uh, where is it? Right over in this area here. Uh, there's a lot of underground mines here too, according to our guide. Montana Tech has 500 miles of tunnels under it. So, this whole thing is Swiss cheese at various elevations. So we are now driving to Ringing Rocks. parking lot or the ringing rocks they supposedly ring maybe they don't do it in the winter time there you go that sounded like a ring There we go, that was clearly a ring. Nope. So apparently it's some ringing rocks. I'm noticing something entirely different here. I understand. Go ahead and interesting. Not sure what the uh, looked like uh, volcanic to me. Even grain. Wow. I figured out how you can tell which ones will ring, little one. You know how? Look at the ones that have the most bare spots on them from yeah. being whacked. <laughs> uh. But I'm noticing the feel of them. Because they're not actually lithophonic. I think the ringing is more due to the fortuitous placement of them when they came down from wherever the heck they came down from. Well, sure rounded weathering there. I wonder if that's uh, exfoliation type weathering or whether these were rounded in a river but they don't look river rounded. Looks more like weathering. And let's see how this sounds in the 
camcorder. I don't think these, some of them don't ring at all. My guess is it does have to do with how they are laying. And those are the Tobacco Root Mountains, I believe, on the far side of the Jefferson River Valley. And uh, we need to head on down until we get to the freeway down there and then boogalay back to Helena, which is uh, basically 180 degrees behind where the camera is pointing, about 50 miles. And here we are, just a few miles outside of Helena. 